Welcome back guys and today we are going to be going over how honesty has saved Helldivers while also playing solo super Helldive on a really tough bug mission. Like in my opinion this is probably the most difficult bug mission especially if you like to go balls deep like I do as you know no pun intended we land right on top of the big bad nest which I mean everything is going to be around you so let's see if we actually make it through the first life. Survey says yeah that's pretty much how it's going to work but going to the main point of this video i'm just really trying to discuss access journalism so if those of you are not really familiar with that term some uh, some guys even like to call it toxic positivity i like to call it meat rider ass kisser whatever you want to call because that's pretty much what it is. It's bias out, you know, between no bounds. Like there is just no limit to the type of bias this is. And the whole reason we like to call it this is because people just give positive reviews, even though it just sucks ass. And they, the reason they do it is because they do it in hopes that, you know, let's say the developer or the business will, you know, lock on to them and say, hey, this guy is giving positive reviews. Let's give him free handouts. Let's go ahead and give him, you know, some free content. That way, you know, we could benefit as a whole. And you see a lot of this problem with things like, let's say, Call of Duty. Or even going more over to the side of Fortnite. Or even, like, let's just say, if you're just into amusement parks like Disney. Or it, it can just be with anything. And I guess, you know, not really calling out some of the zombies community, but a lot of Call of Duty Zombies creators, and you never hear anything negative except from Mr. Raffle Waffles. Like, he is the only guy that will absolutely tell you just it's shit, it's garbage. Now, mine be, he did go to the Call of Duty Next, not Call of Duty, I think it was like Call of Duty Next, where he went to like a Treyarch and visited, played the game and everything else like that. But I can, I, I guess you can say he was under a contract not to say anything negative out the wazoo, but he did eventually come out and say how the game actually was. Now you don't see other creators, let's just say like NoahJ456 or Telexify or Codename Pizza, you don't ever see them giving you know, negative reviews about how bad the game is and why it's, you know, Liberty Balls. So let's take that analogy and then let's put it over towards Helldivers. So if you guys have been part of the Discord, I'm not part of the Discord, but a lot of, you know, I guess the ass kissing and the access journalism was in the Helldivers Discord, like a lot of members of it. Mostly because it's kind of like, hey, yeah, this is great. This is the patch we needed. Meanwhile, even, you know, if you're a member of like other communities, let's just say like on Reddit, for instance, you will see a lot of individuals that were just critiquing it. Like I even made one video talking about, you know, how the, it was probably the worst patch and it was probably the end of the game. I mean, I made that video probably about a month ago and it it was just brutally honest because they essentially want to take all of the bad guns and then make all the bad guns, you know, to just everything is just being level but you know equity is not equal and so by making all the bad guns the same they would think that would incentivize people to play with more bad guns when in reality that makes people not want to play the game at all so in reality it just was a massive backfire not including the sony catastrophe to where you have to have a you know a sony you know connection to you know psn and we still do not have other countries we still do not have countries that even have access to all of this so i mean we still have countries that can't even play it and i mean as far as i think that is uh, pilstedt's rationale onto why they haven't released the review cape but i'm not sure if they'll ever release it just because of the legal side of business goes you don't want to put the other entity that's basically helping you get your game out there you don't want to put them in a bad light because that could be you know interference with business relations so don't want to be on that side but just going on you know how a lot of this works access journalism like i said it pretty much saved the game in my opinion because without all of the negativity without the community as a whole or say the majority of the community as a whole coming together and then just really putting out their honest thoughts of the game and even just not playing the game whenever it is shit really makes a difference as consumers but also as gamers so that is one thing how I'm still kind of like amazed at this patch because it is so much fun. Like there's a reason we were at 9,000 players or six, 7,000 players. And then now like over the weekend, it was like over 110,000 concurrent. Like that is 
that's insane but it also speaks volumes as to saying you know how much people actually still love the game now might not be able to love you know to play it all the time but in the state of it right now it is absolutely worth like it has never felt this good in a very long time like i'm talking about probably march whenever they were coming out with the tcis missions or before they started you know making the spawns just absolutely ridiculous like it is something that i'm just I'm just stoked about because it's kind of sucked not being incentivized to play Hell Divers because, you know, nobody wants to play a game that's just not fun. That's not really rewarding. And then on top of that, they have this war bond out. I think it's quite called Chemical Agents. And gas, and you know, in addition, gas does disorient bugs. So it's pretty cool in and of itself. Like it has a little oh, bit more like of a feature than it did before. Freedom. Like before it was great, but now it also has something else working with it. But even on this difficulty, I mean, it's, it, it's there, but it's not something that'll make or break the game. I just like using gas just, you know, as a bit of a crowd control. But, yeah, and it takes, what, two thermites to kill a uh, charger. It even takes somewhat about two in order to kill a bile titan. Which is just a massive difference than what it was before. Like, oh, excuse me. Before, it was literally, like, in, just infinite. Like, back when they had the grenade glitch, I would say in... I'd say April, that was when like, I think I put like on one video, I think it was like 25 to 30 uh, thermites on there, but they ended up increasing like the damage on thermite from 20 to I think about a thousand. So that is one thing that is still pretty freaking impressive. And just the amount of buffs, not even really, hell, not even just the amount of buffs, the extent of each buff. Like the crossbow right now is the best gun in the game. The railgun actually does damage like it used to do, you know, back in the book of Genesis beginning. I mean, it, you can do optimally about four shots to kill a Bile Titan, when before, you know, it was just, you know, not even worth even equipping, because you couldn't even kill a Charger with any of those. Even like the last video I did with the Railgun and the Crossbow, you can do like, I think, five or six Crossbows to kill an Impaler, which is pretty damn impressive considering, you know, let's just say a few weeks ago, like, it was just nothing would kill anything <laughs> you would just keep running out of ammo and then just be having to wait on a supply drop and it just was not fun now i mean you have 500 kgs that can blow out absolute nests i mean here obviously it's not going to clear out the whole nest because it's pretty wide but it still does the amount of like damage and even just graphics it's super super fun and probably my favorite stratagem right now in the game is going to have to be the orbital napalm that damn thing looks so cinematic and just the amount of damage for like the zone it does is insane like even you see like with 500 kg just the graphics on that and even hell even just the zone of it the blast radius used to just be such ass and then now it's just it's just satisfying chef's kiss this is a reminder of what we lost you know back when hell divers before all their patches or all their nerfs like it's a reminder of what we actually lost and it's something that i'm super excited because and so i can see myself coming home from work to play after a super long day at work something you know just mindlessly just playing without having to just think too hard and try to calculate what the best gun is because now all the guns are pretty damn good now obviously you're going to have the uh purifier that's always going to be ass i mean i <laughs> even back when it came out it was ass you know it it's just something yeah no de Gunumanera. but that's pretty much what i'm trying to say is this ultimately as a community has saved hell divers i mean going to you know access journalism bias toxic positivity that as a whole right now is super super hard to come by in this gaming industry especially when it comes to critics because even i saw a few articles online saying how you know just because like you know they had this patch now the game was just being too difficult to play and then now like the game is like dying and stuff like no it's nothing to do with any of that game is not dying and it was not too hard to play it was being it was impractical to play that is the actual difference and if there's anything that like you know nowadays that it's really just hard to come by is just developers that actually pay attention because at the end of the day if you're looking at games the customer is always right you know we are the ones that will make or break a game we're the ones that buy the game we're the ones that like to give reviews on the game it's something that you know you just have to listen to on your community i mean if you are a game developer and you want to make something your own way then yeah that's good for you but if it's the, if the community doesn't like it then 
it's just worthless. <laughs> and so here, you know, it's less about strategy and more now just about killing and having fun as it should be and as it should have always been. But I don't know, that's just my thoughts on all of this. And um, hell, even if you're going over to Concord, you know, Concord, however you want to say it, they lost actually around $400 million, which to me is absolutely insane. Like, I understand, you know, maybe $100 million, $150 million for a game of that caliber, but $400 million? But I mean, if you really think about it, you know, it took them about eight years to come out with that. And they ended up trying to market the PlayStation 5 Pro around that game, and then the game ended up flopping. Ugh, that's just another rant for another day, but that's just my thoughts on everything. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below as far as access, journalism, and how, like, us as a community, you know, save the game. Because in my opinion, I think this community did save it. It's something that I will just forever be proud to part of, especially from the Helldiving reviews to even just giving a shit ton of bomb reviews on how bad this last uh, update was before this one. Like, it's something that's just, I don't know, I'm just super proud to be part of. But either way, thank you guys for watching, and I look forward to seeing all of you in the next one.